Hi Leo, this is your November 8th through November 14th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, business and finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have the Six of Wands clarified by the world, uh, we have the Ace of Swords, then we have the Eight of Pentacles clarified by the Page of Swords, and we have the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, so the first phrase I heard in my head when I was done with this spread was, uh, this is a done deal. This is a done deal, this is what I heard in my head. And that's what it looks like to me, to be honest with you. So the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck, like I said, it could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. You're dealing with male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. Or this person is very uh, decisive, this person is very direct, and they usually go for what they want. And uh, you are who they want this week. Not just this week, but in general. <laughs> they got their eyes on you and there's nothing uh, that can stop them right now. We have uh, the six L ones right there on the left. This is a card of a victory. This is a card of a proposal. Yeah, back in the day this used to be called the proposal card. So um, they are going to come forward with this offer. Um, and uh, we also have the Ace of Swords right there. The Ace of Swords is a very direct communication just like the King of Swords uh, likes it and uh, they're going to uh, let you know that they've got their eyes on you and you've got their full and undivided attention right and uh, the Six of Wands is uh, clarified by the world to me personally the world is the happy end card so one chapter of your life is coming to an end and another happy chapter of your life is beginning with this person once this person makes it very clear to you what their intentions are. Um, then we have the Eight of Pentacles clarified by the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is that same communication. Uh, it's kind of symbolic that the uh, we see this uh, sword in the hands of the Page of Swords. I think that's exactly the sword that we uh, have in the Ace of Swords. And by the way, the King of Swords is also holding up a sword, right? And the Eight of Pentacles is uh, them letting you know that uh, they are in it to win it. They are going to put a lot of effort into the situation, into the relationship, into this relationship going forward. And at some point, this relationship take, being taken to the next level, whatever that level is for you. So yeah, this is a, a very, very straightforward spread um, with the Ace of Swords, especially. You know, if uh, this is not somebody brand new, if there, are, if this situation has been uh, sitting around, hanging in the air then this is a breakthrough. This person has made up their mind or this person is uh, ready to take the take action towards you and that's exactly what they're going to do this week. Leo, so get ready, they're coming. Leo, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description below. In the extended, I'll do two or three more spreads, depending on how the situation unfolds. We'll take a look at what to expect between you and this person, and we'll get you an advice. I do extensions for new love only, because that's what people are interested in the most. Leo, if you are already married, or if you are in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Page of Cups clarified by the Four of Wands, we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. You know, I've never, ever, ever seen three cards, the four of wands with the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups in the same spread, especially a small spread like this. All three cards are talking about family, talking about a committed relationship, right? So uh, the universe is just trying to uh, make sure we get it, <laughs> right? Me and Leo, <laughs> that uh, this relationship is thriving. This relationship is amazing. Or you could be ascending to the next level, whatever that level is for you. You could be getting married, you could be uh, proposed to, or you could be the one proposing. Because the Page of Cups right there, it could be a proposal or it could be an apology. But uh, the family aspect, the committed relationship aspect is coming through so strongly. I don't think this is an apology, I think this is a, a proposal. Um, something really, really serious. Um, they could be asking you to move in together. 
they could be um, asking you to make it a serious uh, committed relationship whatever it is it's going to be so much stronger this week it'll be taken to the next level next level is written all over this spread right so the ten of pentacles right there this is a very stable <laughs> and grounded type of a relationship the ten of cups the card on the right this is a card of a very emotionally fulfilling relationship marriage and the four of ones on the left this is just some people call the four of ones the eleven eleven card and if you take a closer look there is like an arch right there and two people and in some cultures people get married um, underneath this little structure right so that's what it looks like to me so yeah congratulations to you um, this is a um, like I said I've never ever ever had these three cards come out in the same spread congratulations let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you Leo this week keep in mind it could be somebody from a couple of months ago a year ago or a couple of years ago we have the Hermit clarified by the Knight of Pentacles then we have the Five of Swords we also have the Six of Wands and uh, we have the Ace of Wands clarified by the uh, Eight of Swords and the Three of Wands you could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So the Hermit right there, this is the personal uh, Virgo card. You could be dealing with a Virgo, or you could be dealing with any earth sign, because the, the Virgo is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or both cards, if it's not an earth sign, then this is somebody whom you had a fight with, because we also have the Five of Swords, and on that uh, in just a little bit. So somebody who had to go within and uh, do some soul searching and uh, they realized that uh, they cannot live without you, Leo. So they came up with this plan, with this Knight of Pentacles. Uh, this is a very thought through, very grounded and very serious offer. And the type of offer that leads to marriage in the future. Like I said, they really thought this offer through. They had some time by themselves, and uh, that's what they did. They thought about it. Then we have the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is a card of a breakup. This is a card of um, a big fight. So I think this is what happened in the past. Um, but then the next card over is the Six of Wands. This is a card of a victory. So they want to come back. They uh, want to have a victory with you. And back in the day, the Six of Wands used to be called the Proposal card. So that's why I um, said that the offer they're going to come forward with often leads to marriage and uh, hence the six of ones, right? And uh, in the outcome we have the ace of ones clarified by the eight of swords and the three of ones. The ace of ones is a brand new beginning. The ace of ones is a passionate new beginning. Um, it's clarified by the eight of swords so um, I think that uh, you Leo will um, feel a little bit trapped you'll need some time to think about it yourself once they come back around and make you the offer but then you will come up uh, with a decision that's the three of ones for you right there to me personally the three of ones is somebody who has made up their mind somebody who came up uh, with a decision and that uh, you're going to announce your decision and uh, I have a feeling that you'll be getting giving this person a second chance because the ace of ones is there for a reason and so is the six of ones Yes, the fight or the breakup must have been really, really bad, really devastating. The Five of Swords is um, one of the worst cards when it comes to uh, breakups and fights. And uh, it's that type of a fight where it's really hard to recover from the type, that type of fight. But um, I think you'll manage. You and this person will manage to get through it, to power through it. Because um, most likely all of it has to do with the, the way they will come back. They will come back to you correctly with the Knight of Pentacles. They will make sure you understand they're serious. They'll make sure you understand that they're uh, they're not going to be uh, playing or fooling around anymore. I don't know if they did the first time around, but it's not going to be the case this time. They're serious. They're looking for a long term. They're looking for stability. Okay, so it'll be up to you what you want to do with this offer, whether you want to reconcile or not, but um, cards are suggesting that you will give it another shot. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Leo, this week. 
we have the king of cups we have the three of ones we have the four of swords and we have the knight of swords on the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with a water sign cancer scorpio or pisces or you could be dealing with an air sign gemini libra or aquarius so the first three cards that came out i'm getting this very peaceful vibe <laughs> the king of cups could be this person coming uh, forward but the three of ones and the four of swords is kind of peaceful you're looking into the future you're just taking a break with the four of swords perhaps you're on vacation or you don't want to work right now or you um, want to take a break but i'm getting this uh, phrase in my head that goes like this um, somebody is going to come forward and disrupt your peace with the knight of swords on the bottom of the deck it could be an air sign gemini libra or aquarius or it could be the energy of um, this offer rushing into your life somebody really wants you on board if this is a new job opportunity if this is a new job offer or somebody wants to start a business with you or you know uh, Mars retrograde is almost over. I think it's going to be over um, on the 15th. Yes, this spread is for uh, the period of time of November 8th through November, through November 14th. But, you know, perhaps somebody wants to jump the gun with you. And uh, right before Mars retrograde is over, they are going to jump in and they will want to, uh, you know, sign something with you or sign you up for something. So, um, I don't know what you're going to do, I'm not sure what this is offer going to be about, but uh, somebody is rushing in to make you an offer. Alright? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen this week, Leo. We have the Star, we have the Ace of Wands, and we have the Nine of Cups. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. So, those three cards are all what I needed. I didn't need to pull any clarifiers. So, the Star and the Nine of Cups, both cards are about a wish come true. So, whatever you've been wishing for, this wish will be granted this week. And that will lead to a very passionate new beginning with the Ace of Wands. And it could be about love, or it could be about work, business, finances, whatever it is. It's finally here. It's finally coming to fruition. Perhaps you didn't expect this wish to be granted so quickly or perhaps you've lost all hope and uh, you even started to forget about it but uh, be careful what you wish for here it is with the ace of wands bam wish granted <laughs> yeah two cards of uh, wish come true and um, you could be dealing with an aquarius because the star is the personal aquarius card but that still doesn't change the idea because uh, don't forget the nine of cups is also a wish come true so yeah, this is what you're not expecting to happen. You can always leave me a comment, let me know how this plays out for you, what you've been wishing for for a while, and what's happening. I promise I will not tell anybody. All right. Um, yeah, so that's what I got for you, Leo. Hopefully it resonates, and uh, other than that, have a great week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.